Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. Hopefully you guys have been busy grinding away, trying to get, well, Dragonite to level 3, I hope. Uh, if you guys are brand new to Pokemon Cafe Mix, well, this was your chance to get Dragonite before he disappears again. Uh, if you have not gotten Dragonite, I... Hope you try harder next time he reappears. I have no idea when that will be, but you know, uh, things will come around, you know, eventually. Alright, so it's finally the season for giving. And you can see all the Christmas ornaments, the hats on certain Pokemon, as you can tell. And of course, we have brand new orders with Go Goat as the brand new Pokemon that you can attain. But sadly for us on this account, we are not that far ahead in orders, so yeah, we won't be able to see Gogo join us anytime soon, <laughs> until we grind our way to the 700 order. Oh god, we are so far behind. <laughs> Anyways, um, aside from that, you know, if you have the cash, you can purchase this well exclusive costume design for Eevee. Uh, um, aside from that, I think this skill is slightly different. Clear surrounding icons and gimmicks, and then sets off megaphones created in place of other surrounding icons. So, if you had the regular EV, you know regular EV is kind of redundant. It just destroys things within its skill circle and doesn't call any megaphones out. So, this EV, well, the paid one at least, is actually useful. <laughs> But how often do you actually use, you know, exclusive Pokemon uh, aside from the recommended ones that they promote whenever you're trying to clear an order? So, I don't know. Is it actually really worth it to actually spend on them? So, <laughs> anyways, um, from today onwards that I'm recording, it's actually, well, kind of the second day of the event. Uh, so... Not too redundant yet, but anyways, um, Lucario comes in with this new event for Christmas, um, wearing well Christmassy costume articles. So, first time a regular Pokemon that you can get from the main game is coming in with a different costume design. That's pretty nice, and it's actually winking. Can you see the wink? Hmm. So, clears Pokemon icons and gimmicks to the right in a plus pattern. Well, that's pretty interesting. So, the regular Lucario destroys things in a cross pattern as well. Um, but it didn't have an initial direction that is facing. So, this is pretty interesting that Lucario is getting um, a twist to its skill. So, there we go. We have the promotional Holiday EV pack trying to entice its players to purchase the, well, the brand new costume cozy looking design EV. Anyways, I'm not gonna do that. Ooh. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Even has its own bell. Alright, it's almost the holiday season. I'm so excited. Wonder if there's something we can do at the cafe to celebrate. Luca? It's a Lucario. It seems to be very enthusiastic. Oh wait! Lucario, come here! Put this here and make this like so. There we go. Oh. Oh, so it's her doing that Lucario is dressed up. Okay, so does this mean that Lucario will give us regular Lucario points? I mean, you know, if you guys have not obtained Lucario before the regular version, will it actually power up Lucario in his regular form? Hmm, or is this a brand new Lucario in general? Well, let's see. Alright, oh, I completely forgot about reading the text. Anyways, uh, wow Lucario, you're the life of the party, why don't we have a party with Lucario? 
can collect lots of stars as a team and oh Lucario's a raid event? Interesting. So you really gotta work hard. Of course, if your team is active, I think that should be fine. So it seems like the team here is doing some work. Alright. Let's see. Alright, we, we do have some points already. Um, but a majority of the people are not active, so that's kind of worrying. Anyways, we shall see. Maybe after a few days, if things aren't moving along, I might change team. So let's play our part. Ooh, we have Lucaro in the... Hmm. Why not? And it's our chance to level up Togepi to level 3 as well. So let's do this. Okay. We're not going to go with the event Pokemon recommendations because... In the last episode when we tried that, it ended up very uh, horrendous. It didn't go well at all. Okay, let's cover as many of the sugar cubes as we can. We're gonna power up um, skill because it just has a better reach. Okay, there we go. Alright, now that we have it powered up, let's try to go all the way in. Okay. Alright. Let's reach as much of the sugar cubes as possible. And of course, not forgetting um, to get some of the veggies. Alright, the pumpkins are important. There you go. Still lacking in a bit of the vegetables. Hmm. Maybe let's use this megaphone here. Oh, I completely missed the pumpkin. Oh no, that's not good. Okay. So let's do this. Oh no. We are in trouble. Hmm. Okay, maybe let's do this. And let's push the pumpkin in so we can destroy it and attain some vegetables. Ooh. Go shave. Okay. <laughs> Gotta watch out with what you need to clear. It's not exactly a very difficult level. It's just one of those levels that you end up using up all the moves. So yeah, just gotta pay attention. Let's go Pikachu for this one. This looks simple. Alright, let's get at those Pikachu icons. Of course, going in for some eggs. Alright, let the icons flow. There we go. Majority of the honey. On the left side is done. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Oh. Which is skill range is very short. Alright, let's get the last popcorn kernel out first. Okay. All we have to do is destroy the popcorn. Oh, I missed one. Oh. Okay. Definitely won't miss right now. Would have, not, would have been nice to have ended on, you know, five moves remaining. Oh well. There we go. Togepi is at level three. Fantastic. Now we can w make our efforts uh, known for the team. Okay, we need three more stars. So let's do this by clearing our levels. 
Okay, Vincino. Uh oh. This looks like a tricky one. Hmm, there are a lot of water effect icons right now. So let's go with that. Let's clear all the icicles. A lot of blossoms. So let's just. Yep. Okay. Let's gather the Michino icons first and let's get rid of the ice go here. Okay. Things look fine. Can we get a tree here? Nope. We missed our chance. That's okay. Let's get let's try to get a tree roll for this one. Fantastic. Alright, so let's get it in Waba. <coughs> My voice cracked. <laughs> okay, um, trying to clear all the icicles. Okay. Hmm. It seems like we need to do it one more time. We'll start with one. Alright. Okay, let's get all the tomatoes in. All oh, three rolls. Oh, that's just a shame. Alright, megaphone for the clear. Not too difficult a level, just do things in order. Don't want to waste the efforts of the skill just to defrost the items out of the ice block. Alright, two more stars to level 2 for Lucario. Let's keep going. I mean, nice to have a uh, friendship bonus. Ooh. Okay, so we've got some piping back issues. Um, marshmallows seem easy to clear. Alright, I'm missing a few, but that's fine. Okay, we've got lots of EV icons. So let's just clear EV. Alright. Charmander? Oh, Charmander, there's too few Charmanders. Okay, so there goes all the marshmallows. Try to clear icons and a bit of the victims long. There you go, fantastic. Alright, stay close enough to the piping bags. Let's call forth all the whipped creams if possible. Mm -hmm. I think we are good. Okay, let's try to get the whipped cream down. There you go, all the big ones are gone. Now we just need one more skill, so why not do it at the same time trying to clear a score? Charmander looked mm, a decent amount, so we have to get instead of easy. And we're done! Pretty simple level. One more star to go. Let's keep the ball rolling. Oh, we're gonna get Plusle joining our cafe too. That's exciting. Mm, I'm a bit worried about the mayonnaise bubbles in the middle. And we have olives in the center as well. I think I think the trick here is just to clear the olives first. Um, we don't want them to be coated or coating anything else. Okay, so there we go. Oh, in the end, it coated something. Okay, that's fine. There are actually olives. Inside the mayonnaise bubbles. Oh my goodness, such a pain. Okay. So I guess the strategy would probably have to change to like destroying the tomato bottles as much as we can. Okay, here we go. 
so let's destroy as many things as we can. Alright. Okay, let's get all the pluses. Fantastic. Okay. Make sure to cover the tomato bottles that have more content in them. Okay, we're almost done. So let's just cover ketchup bottles. Okay. Uh, seems like we have to do things one by one. I'm gonna use up all the moves. But as long as we clear the level, I think we're good. Yep. There we go. A bit of a narrow finish. You just gotta be very cautious on what you need to do. And here comes Plusso! Look at that adorable little thing. I wonder how, is, how she's gonna look like in the uniform. <laughs> she's just got... Okay, she, she's, she's got the beret and... I don't know if... No, it's not a beret. It's more like a... What kind of hat is it? <laughs> uh, anyway... Can't really tell Plusso is wearing a uniform because the color contrast on the pattern design of Plusso is so similar to the uniform's design. <laughs> okay, we got our friendship bonus. That's gonna help us with Lucario. So let's claim the reward first before we move on. Alright, more items that we barely use. But the Acorn reward is more than welcome. Here we go with Jigglypuff. Oh. Okay. So we just have to graze the bottom a bit. And then of course the top is the main issue. Hmm. There we go. Alright, so... If we can push all the chestnuts down, I think we wouldn't have too much of a problem. Okay. So we have to clear two times of 30 links. So there we go. And with this, we'll get another skill icon. And we are gonna use this chance to destroy everything at the bottom. So we only have. Yep, that food can at the top to settle. And we have completed the link requirement, including the score. Alright, with one megaphone, and we are done. Not exactly very difficult, just be cautious on completing what you need to do. So burst those bubbles first, then bring all the chestnuts together and just destroy away. Alright, what's next? Hmm. Ardino. Hmm. We've got caramel Walls. Okay, so let's try to get rid of as many caramels as possible. There we go. Alright, Ordino. Let's get that skill going. I don't know, do we need to power it up? I think we don't have to. It's hopefully to be... Yeah, the megaphones do destroy the cheese in our favor. And of course, we do have to remember to get eggs. Okay. Seems like we're fine. Alright, we're done! <laughs> Didn't really have to use a lot of Ordino skill. I guess we're pretty lucky on the megaphones. All 
Alright, who's next? Oh, Buizo. Ooh, Gengar. No. I've learned my lessons. <laughs> Never using event Pokemons, even though they are recommended. Alright, let's gather our skills. Okay. okay. Squeeze out some of those good creams. Alright, let's not power up um, the skill. Because there's really no need to. Got a bit lucky right there with the megaphone's directions. Uh oh, it's stuck. Oh, okay. So we did manage to get all the whipped creams out, so that's good. Now let's see if the megaphones. Oh, they did not favor us at all. Alright, so here we go. Okay, I didn't manage to get everything. Seems like we're good. Alright, make sure we touch all the whipped creams. And we do need the score, so we're not going to touch the skill yet. There we go. Okay, now we do need megaphones to be cast out. So clear. And this, we are done. Simple. Moving along pretty smoothly. Haven't messed up a single level yet, which is fantastic. Okay, here we go. Mm. Basket issues. Okay. I think the tomatoes would be generally fine on their own because the funnels do drop them into the baskets directly. So now we just need to gather enough Pokemon icons to call forth the skill. Okay, let's destroy the popcorns first before we do some destruction with the skill. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's get another skill icon. Okay. Now it's here. And there goes the tomatoes. Something's not right. Why is it not moving? Oh. There we go. Oh no, we ran out of moves! Oh, this is one of those stages that really needs to be precise. Uh, I can't afford to do another round, so let's just do this. Because <laughs> we can afford to. Okay, let's just get the tomatoes in, and we are good! Oh, come on! Get in there! Oh, what a waste of a move. Oh well. Alright. Ooh, Baba Fett. Another one of those mega phone missions. <sighs> okay. This doesn't seem too bad. So it, it doesn't have the requirement of like linking a certain amount of um, Pokemon icons together. Because Wawa Fett's powered up skill does generate, um, you know, more icons. It's the most common on the field. I mean, on the board, the stage, whatever you want to call it by. Okay, let's get a veggie plus clearing that tomato bottle. There we go. Lots of Arduinos going around. Alright, we're done with the tomato bottles, so let's just get Megaforms going. 
So even if you power up Wawa Fat's skill, it doesn't generate more megaphones. So yeah, try avoiding um, powering up you know, Wawa Fat's skill in this level. Okay, let's just get all the veggies and we are done! Not too difficult a level. Just don't power up that skill. <laughs> Ooh, mine them. Have we gotten mine them yet? Or well, are we gonna get the twins in this episode together? Oh, we've already got mine them. Oh well. That's fine. Hmm. Pumpkins? Chewing gum? I don't know. Okay, um, so the main thing here is still to get the, the skin. There we go, so we can start destroying stuff. And we do have to pay attention to the pumpkin as well. There isn't a lot of Starly. Shouldn't have gone with Starly. Oh well. gotten most of the gooey stuff out. Just gotta be careful with that fruit can at the top. Alright, seems like we're good. So we just need to gather a lot of icons for the score. Fantastic. So let's clear this fruit can first. Before we handle the pumpkin, make sure we have that last megaphone remaining just for that. Yep, simple as that. Alright, doing our part for the team. Anyone else working hard? Oh, I'm in first place! Oh my, <laughs> that's not a good sign. Okay, so we reach our 10th level. Hopefully the rest of the team members will do their part. Alright, let's do this. Uh-oh. Okay, so this is one of those tricky levels. Um... I had a pretty hard time with this level on my Nintendo Switch account, so let's try to clear this with as little hassle as possible. Okay, um, we're gonna use one single skill to do a tree lane if possible. There we go. Barely made it. Alright, then from here we're gonna try and clear the marshmallows. Go. Last bit of the marshmallows and the honey. And now we can set free the other side. There is a chestnut that we haven't destroyed yet. Oh, we missed our chance. Oh, that's such a shame. Okay. So let's push the chestnut in together. Alright. Let's gather the Oh, we missed on the marshmallow. Oh no, that's going to hurt us greatly later. Okay, chestnut. Get oh, we missed a chance for the chestnut as well. This is not looking good. Alright, let's get it a score. Of course, if we can get all the marshmallows. Oh, this is not good. Not good. Okay. Uh oh. No, we missed a single marshmallow. <laughs> now you know why I say this is one of those very annoying levels, especially since the marshmallows like alternate between destructible and non-destructible modes. Uh, I'm gonna use the 900. I just don't want to do the whole level again. 
So we just wait for the marshmallow to pop up and make sure that we cover it totally to get it destroyed. If not, wow, that 900 acorn addition is going to be flushed down the drain. Okay, so we are finally done. Whew. <laughs> and we are, well, 10 levels closer to the brand new 700 max orders. Oh yes, yeah, so lacking behind. I guess I have to produce more videos if I want to catch up. Anyways guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. I'll try to make more episodes um, within December because we definitely need to try and catch up and you know at least get up to date to the latest orders as soon as we can so at least once we caught up I can lax a bit on the video producing for Pokemon Cafe Mix ah. okay anyway guys <laughs> If you enjoyed watching me struggle through, you know, all the agony of being a YouTuber, <laughs> leave a like on this video, subscribe if you want to hear me moan and groan in <laughs> more videos just like this one, and I'll see you guys soon, very soon. You know, you know my intentions that why I'm going to produce more videos now. So yes, very soon indeed. Until then guys, bye!